Truck Hub Chipper, how you doing? Uh, my name is Luis Lopez, and I am the founder of uh, Truck Hub. And today we're going to do a new request shipment online through Truck Hub. The purpose of the new request shipment is to avoid having to send an email and upload a delivery order. Or maybe you're a customer that doesn't have a delivery order and you would rather just enter it into Truck Hub in order for the dispatcher or the customer service rep to get it quicker. So the first thing you're going to do when you log into the Truck Hub shipper platform is you're going to see the current shipments, you're going to see request new shipment, and you're going to see load board. You're going to see your map. You're going to click on the green button where it says request new shipment. For purposes of, the, of this exercise, we're going to do a full truckload. That means that it's a, uh, it's a dedicated trailer. This is going to be a 53-foot trailer, and we are going to uh, make up, uh, for purposes of this exercise, a very simple uh, pickup and delivery location so that we would be able to provide you an example of how to enter an order. So the first step is you're going to decide, is this standard, refrigerated, hazmat, or bonded? So we're going to do just a standard uh, uh, 53-foot uh, trailer. And this is going to be general cargo. The booking number. So let's say you have a booking number that's related to your uh, your shipment. So you can put, let's just for this exercise, 16767. The booking status, that means that this is going to be valid, right? Because it's an active order. This is ready to be shipped. Your pickup number, your delivery number. Your shipper reference number it could be the same as the booking number. The value of the items and the weight. So the you, the legal weight of a trailer needs to be uh, under fifty thousand GV. Uh, excuse me, eighty thousand GVW between cargo weight, truck, trailer. So for purposes of this exercise, you're going to say it's twenty four thousand pounds. And here's where you're going to put the route. So today's February twenty third, and it's four thirteen p.m. So I'm going to put that the pickup time needs to be between seven p.m. and 11 p.m. And this is, we're on the East Coast time. You can put here any, any notes. So I'm putting here C Mark, the warehouse manager. I'm putting here, it's a test shipment. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put the address. It's important for, for you to be able to get the address latitude and longitude. So if you put the if you skip the first line and put the address first, it will automatically populate the latitude and longitude. It'll pull an API from Google so that you're able to get the latitude and longitude. So we're gonna put here 3300 Northwest 110th Street, Miami, Florida, 33167 as the pickup location. Then you're gonna click the 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 plus sign again. And now you're gonna put the drop-off location. So let's say for purposes of this exercise, we're going to deliver on the 25th at 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And this is going to be Eastern time as well. Here, you're going to put any notes. So you see like uh, uh, C warehouse manager Tim. Then you're going to put the address of delivery. Let's find an address to put here. So let's decide what address we're going to put here. Let's go Pennsylvania. Okay. So now we, we are going from Miami to Pennsylvania. You can put any contact that's already in our system. So any additional email addresses that you wish. You can put notes for the dispatcher. And you can now submit the order. Once you've submitted the order, you're going to get the exact distance, which is 1,262 uh, miles. 
should take about uh, 1,078 minutes. And once you do that, this has now been sent over to the dispatcher. The dispatcher will have uh, the time to now accept the order, and then your status will change from pending to in transit uh, or, or still stay pending until the order has been dispatched. So this is a really innovative way to avoid having to send emails, and it's very simple. You also have your information here of who created the order, additional people involved in the order, and this could be this will be added. The dispatcher who accepts the order will be added here, and eventually the driver details will be added here as well. So this is Truck Hub Shipper. This is Request New Shipment form. And this is a really innovative and easy way to create a shipment and avoid having to send emails and the back and forth. Thanks, Truck Hub Shipper. Let me know if you have any questions. And if not, we'll talk soon. This is Truck Hub Shipper, Luis Lopez, signing off.